Hello everyone, happy day wherever you are. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jennifer from Jennifer Tarot Spiritual Guidance and I am creating today's live video to share with you the tarot, guard, the tarot card guidance for today, January 30th to tomorrow, January 31st. So it is a bit late in the day. Um, for some of us, perhaps January 30th has gone so this is really for January 30th to January 31st, 2018. So um, I just felt very much drawn to sharing today's message because I did select the cards earlier this morning and we have with us the Three of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed, and we have the Five of Pentacles upright. So it's really an interesting and curious organization in terms of the energy that we are receiving um, and the message. So I want to share today's message or this message now because we start with a message and a guidance of co-creation and celebration of a time of unity and communication with others, of coming together, of union and unification. A unification within yourself in terms of having more alignment with what you are inspired by and a greater sense of knowing where your passion lies, where your strength lies, but also personal rejoicing for your achievements till now and the goodness in your life. So it's about people coming together as well and co-creating and sharing the good times. Perhaps people in your house or there's there are additional visitors or you find that the, the energy is just really good around you with your community where you are vibing well with your friends or with uh, co-workers um, so this is a really nice and positive energy and then we have the six of Pentacles reversed so with this card we are in we are highlighting the energy of balance but also giving and receiving and a lot of readers they like to uh, consider the the notion of charity and giving so because this card is reversed my feeling from it is that the guidance is for you to consider in what ways can you bring greater balance and harmony to your relationships and how much giving and receiving you're doing perhaps you enjoy giving a lot perhaps you it comes from your heart but you may have discovered over time that the more you give you also need to replenish yourself because if you constantly are giving out and generating that energy and giving to others then you're not leaving enough space and enough time to fulfill yourself as well it's a matter of maintaining a suitable balance and knowing how how far to extend yourself and also understanding to what extent are the activities in your life or the actions you're engaging in or the people in your life to what extent are they filling your cup too so as much as we want to be generous and we want to share with others, that is wonderful. And another key component of that is to balance it well so that you are also receiving in, in turn because there are many blessings for all of us here in the universe. But if we are constantly in the, in the output mode, we're not leaving space and time for us to receive and have the input mode from even from the universe, from source energy, from your inner being and also from others to, to let others give to you as well and to consider how you can invite more balance into your life in that regard. So balancing, giving and receiving and letting yourself be replenished by your activities rather than only depleted. Okay, and this and this is for you to factor in over the long run, not just for today, but on a continuous basis. Are your activities giving you energy or are they depleting you constantly? Are you doing enough um, self-care ac actions to take care of your health and your mental well-being, your emotional stability? Are you satisfying your needs? Do you even know what your needs are? That is also very, very critical. So this is what the card is highlighting, is to be in a good balance of giving and receiving. 
And then finally, that one is followed by the Five of Pentacles. So it's a very fascinating spread because it starts out with the Three of Cups of rejoicing and celebration and unity and harmony and community, communing, um, rejoicing and coming together uh, as a, a culmination of sorts and being social, getting out there, connecting with others. And, uh, and then it's followed by this message and indication of um, perhaps not giving too much or an imbalance in relationships. So it makes me feel that there's something to consider here, something to reflect and contemplate regarding whether your activities with towards others might be overextending you, whether you're giving too much in, in, in to others and you're not receiving enough. And this is not for us to take it in a selfish way or in a manner that we need to be guarded and protected. No but rather to invite more balance into your relationship so that you can continue to share together and continue to co-create. And sometimes it's just so important to ask for what you need, you know, and rather than being on the giving end all the time, but also knowing what is reasonable to expect and whether you can raise your expectations so that you can truly honor yourself because that is very fundamental for your long-term happiness is understanding your needs, fulfilling yourself psychologically, emotionally, self-actualizing, and we can self-actualize by becoming independent, and that means also not relying or depending on others for approval or for their feedback based on how much you give them, okay? That is really significant and, and something that can be a great source of joy for you for the rest of your life, but also for others because they will see you at your best and receive the best from you when you're able and ready to give. Okay, because otherwise, when we're giving too much, it's coming from a fear of lack or unworthiness. And also when we deplete our resources, we're left feeling bereft and like we're lacking. Hence, this is sort of the guidance and the message. And also, it's indicating that it's time to consider, you know, how you position yourself in this image of um, of lack and a crisis of sorts, spiritual, spiritually, emotionally, um, a crisis of conscience, a crisis of not knowing what is your worth or your value or your place. But it's not in the giving that you do that doesn't generate your significance or your meaning. It's in the joy that you feel. It's in the joyfulness that you have on a daily basis that stems from within your heart by virtue of just being you. And then as you cultivate that energy, it will translate into giving more to others. But as we proceed in these days with the full moon upon us, it's such a vital time and an opportunity for us to let go of that need for approval and to let go of that need for others to validate us or to validate you or to validate me, right? Because when I say you, I'm talking about me and vice versa, okay? So for us who receive the message, it's, it's about opening up our conscience, our consciousness, our mindset and our soul and heart so that they unite with our mind and we can be fully allied as we go about in this new beginning for this new month ahead of February in this new phase of our life that we can step forward with confidence and empowerment rather than lack lackfulness and instability and that we don't know where our worth and value lie. So that's pretty much it, you know, is to continue to celebrate, continue to acknowledge and rejoice the goodness of life and just make sure that it is balanced and in a healthy, harmonious way, that there is a, a great, you know, synergy between you and those who give and receive um, so that there is a positive balance on both ends and mostly for you to be able to manage yourself so that you know why you're giving and to give without needing anything in return from others. That's another key aspect is to give selflessly. But then this is where the wisdom in knowing yourself comes in to give selflessly, but knowing what does it take to fill your cup and what does it take to make you personally happy 
regardless of what others say back to you or what they um, give us feedback or what is the response. Let it be because it generates an energy, a positive energy from within you. And that will ultimately bring us back to our spiritual life and our spiritual self because that eternal source comes from um, God, whatever you believe in, your spiritual strength, that will generate your continued and ongoing lifelong source of wellness. And it comes from within you. So you definitely have the power always and forever. So that is our guidance and our message for today, um, for January 30th to the 31st. And if you are listening to this on January 31st, then let this message carry on towards February 1st and know that the energies will continue to evolve over time. But today's message is one that we can take with us for many days and many months and, and weeks and years ahead um, because it's just something that can abide within us. And it's just basically coming down to your self-worth and determining what does it take to make you happy and to understanding your profound needs. Okay, so thank you for joining. I'm Jennifer from Jennifer Tarot, and I look forward to seeing you again for a future reading. And if you would like your own private reading, then send me a message or visit my website, and I can get you scheduled with a private reading. And you will also be able to see the pricing for the different types of readings, so you can select at your convenience. So thanks again, lots of love, and have a beautiful evening and rest of the week ahead. Bye!